What's up guys, welcome back to the Baseball Center. All-Star Games are a wonderful part of every professional sports league. They allow every fan to watch all of the game's superstars compete and have fun together, all in one place. Happening midway through the season, the All-Star Break is a great time for every respective sport and is always entertaining, especially for Major League Baseball. Today, I'm going to be talking about why baseball's All-Star Game is better than every other sport's All-Star Game. For starters, let's take a look at last night's All-Star Game, which took place in Seattle at T-Mobile Park, home of the Mariners. It was a wonderful game, where the National League took home the trophy, winning 3-2, and showcased tons of electric plays during the whole game. We saw two runners caught stealing, two home runs, and plenty of excellent outfield catches, two of which happened in the first inning. It was a very electric and successful game, and a great reminder to all baseball fans why we love the sport and the iconic Midsummer Classic. Now, let's talk about why the MLB All-Star Game is better than every other All-Star Game. For starters, let's take a look at the most obvious choice, the NFL Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl has been a mess for decades now, and it got so bad that viewers stopped watching it completely. This past season, the Pro Bowl was changed to a flag football game, just to try to get more fans to watch it. The inherent problem with the Pro Bowl is the problem facing the NFL. A fear of injuries. Football used to be an extremely physical sport, where brute force was essential to the game. Over the years, the sport of football transitioned into a skills competition, where big hits were frowned upon, and the rules were bent to protect players as much as possible. Because of this, star players don't want to risk their playing and financial careers by risking their body in a meaningless Pro Bowl game, which resulted in a more boring atmosphere for the game. Look at this clip. There is no action, no urgency, the complete opposite of what the fans want to see in an all-star game. Because of all this, the Pro Bowl was never better than the Midsummer Classic. Second, let's talk about the NBA All-Star Game, a much more enjoyable experience opposed to the Pro Bowl. The NBA All-Star Game is a good all-star game, where the stars of basketball are shooting threes, dunking, and laughing as they do it. It is not as fun as it used to be, however, as the NBA has transitioned into a more player-friendly kind of all-star game, where team captains pick players, and then they play with those players, much like a pickup game. It was far more fun when it was the East against the West. In addition, the lack of defense in the game can make all the point scoring insanely repetitive. Because of this, the NBA all-star game has gotten increasingly more boring over time, and is far less interesting than the baseball all-star game. Finally, covering the fourth major sport in America, the NHL All-Star Game is nowhere near the influence of baseball. I didn't even know that hockey had an All-Star Game because the NHL is watched far less than baseball, football, or basketball. I enjoy watching hockey, and there is no denying that it is a wonderful sport, but any kind of big event that it has, like the Stanley Cup Final or All-Star Game, will never match the viewership or entertainment of what the MLB has. So, what does baseball have over the other sports that makes their all-star game so much better than the other sports? Well, the answer lies in the way that the game is played. The thing that makes baseball so much different from other sports is the amount of effort that is needed during the action. In basketball and hockey, there is constant, non-stop action for long periods of time, so when a meaningless game is played, like an all-star game, the amount of effort is reduced, causing the game to lose excitement, which is when the fans stop watching. In football, it is a little different because there isn't non-stop action, but there is still a tremendous amount of effort needed, so the players in the Pro Bowl give little effort to each play, reducing the amount of enjoyment possible for the fans to have while watching the game. The Pro Bowl being bad is an understatement, that's why they got rid of it and replaced it with dodgeball. The difference with baseball is that it is naturally a much slower pace of game. There isn't non-stop action, but short, little bursts of energy for each pitch. So, when the All-Star Game comes along, which is a meaningless game, players aren't as incentivized to give less effort to the game. As a result, we see an All-Star Game that is just like a regular game, and so fans who love baseball love the All-Star Game, because it is the same as a regular-paced baseball game, only this time with the best in the world playing. Many people have suggested ways to fix the All-Star Games of other sports, but what they need to realize is that the reason the MLB All-Star Game works so well is because of the game itself. The All-Star Game doesn't impede the pace, nor the enjoyment of an All-Star Game. That is why the MLB All-Star Game is so popular, and always will be better than every other All-Star Game. Thanks for watching. What were your thoughts on the 2023 All-Star Game? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to share your ideas in the comments as well. Until next time, have a wonderful day. 
Bye.